Well, a recent gathering at the Vatican examined the life and legacy of Pope Benedict XVI. The theology students have been meeting every year at the end of the summer since 2008, and they were all committed to research into the life and work for Joseph Ratzinger. The EWTN Vatican journalist Matteo Choffi has more. Being collaborators of truth, carrying Pope Benedict XVI's rich legacy into the future was the theme this year of the Ratzinger Schuller Kreis, an annual gathering of Benedict XVI's former students in Rome for a theological symposium held not far from St. Peter's Basilica. The speakers included Cardinal Kurt Koch, Benedict's former personal secretary, Archbishop George Geinswein, and also the Irish professor, Father Vincent Toomey, one of the very first members of the Schuller Kreis, who explained the main topic of the event. We focused on his life and his legacy, in actual fact. It was the first time since he died that we've come together. Uh, and we've, it's been a time of gratitude, but also of reminiscence. You know, that's quite normal when so someone dies. Yeah? And that we're filled with gratitude to have known such a man. And uh, he was, I think, characterized above all by his humility, his modesty. He had a very bad image, but we knew who he was. But we didn't really know how great he was. Now we're discovering his greatness. Yeah? The Schuller Kreis is the circle of one-time students of Benedict started in 1977. Since 2008, it has been supplemented by the so-called New Schuller Kreis, which gathers younger theologians dedicated to the study of Ratzinger's works. As always, the meeting was held at the end of September, but it was also the first meeting after the death of Benedict XVI at the end of last December. But this year, the focus is on his person. Above all, those that crisis years in the 60s and 70s, when he moved from Tübingen to Regensburg, in the middle of the whole student revolution, sexual revolution, university revolution, and he remained calm and cool. And he moved to a backwater, effectively, a provincial, newly established university, just to be able to study and gather his his research students around him, and then he was called off to become Archbishop and, and Cardinal and eventually Pope. So what was unique about this year's meeting was the fact that even though he's physically absent, he was spiritually present in a way he hadn't been up to now. The meeting discussed the future of the Schuller Kreis and how Pope Benedict XVI's legacy will continue to influence his students, especially through his writings. The legacy of Pope Benedict is above all what he wrote, his writings. And he was writing right up to the end. When he died, he, a, a book of his collected works written when he was retired was published. Even as Pope, he continued uh, to write as a private theologian. And his great work there was Jesus of Nazareth. And I think that is perhaps his legacy. All his writings had this one focus, to bring us to Jesus Christ, and above all, then, to know how to worship God. So the person of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the liturgy, how we worship God. For them, th these, two th these two aspects were for us to go one. And future generations are now discovering him, so that I see a wonderful future ahead for theology. In Rome, Matteo Cioffi, EWTN, News Nightly.